everyone, today I want to uh, talk to you about uh, COPEX, uh, more um, about uh, their maintenance. Um, despite the fact that everybody is saying that they are um, pretty much can last you forever, they do need some care and uh, some of you who already uh, own them might already sort of uh, gotten to the times when um, they're not you know, working properly. And uh, today I want to explain how you can fix some of them and how to identify um, when you need to, say, change your nibs or refill your copex, um, uh, things like that. So, um, you know that copex come in various of uh, forms. So you have sketch copex, you have classic copex, and then you have a chow copex. Well, basically, nibs for chows and sketch are pretty much similar, they are pretty much the same. Uh, whereas uh, nibs for classic, they are slightly different. So, um, I personally first got my uh, set in, it was a classic set, so I had these squarey um, copics. So, for, the, for their maintenance, you would need fine tips like these ones. I have like a whole bunch of them left and wide nibs for this for the for the other side of the uh, these can actually be um, put into the sketch copics as well but they kind of the, the sketch copics um, nibs wide nibs are a little bit narrower than these ones are and then the tricky part is you know is to get the proper um, brush nibs for sketch ones because they are different sizes. Um, first time when I was buying those nibs, I made a mistake. I'll show you. I made a mistake and I bought a slightly smaller nibs. So if you can see, these are slightly smaller than if you compare it with this one. Uh, they're, they're smaller and um, longer. Uh, they still fit in, but personally to me, it doesn't look like, you know, proper so um, today um, I just received my brush nibs so they're proper ones um, so I wanted to use this opportunity and show you how you can fix some of your issues with Copics I had the problem with this marker before and I'll show you basically if this the brush nib to be honest, I don't know why this happened. I'm not sure if you're going to see this or not, but you'll see this sort of like uh, build up of some sort of, I don't know, gunk on, on the nib. And when I try to draw with it, it doesn't come out. It feels like it's dry up, and then at some point, it's kind of like sticky as well. So this is not good. This is not good. Uh, so for that reason, um, one thing you could look into is maybe refilling it but personally it didn't work for me so that's why i'm planning to change the nib changing the nib is also not not that hard to do anybody can do it uh all you need is obviously like a replacement i'll open one so you'll need a replacement and you'll need tweezers um, I use my like normal tweezers, like, but uh, Copic, uh, Copic does supply tweezers as well if you want, or you can just do it by hand, it's no big deal. So what you need to do is to grab this nib and pull it out, like this, and next thing you would need to do is grab your new one. much got in so what you need to do now is to leave it be and um, wait till the ink gets into the into the nib or you could if you don't want to wait because this this copic is quite dry as well I'll just use the opportunity then probably to show you how how to refill it I'm sure you've been 
you've seen a lot of videos about how to refill and many of them uh, show different ways there is not pretty much as far as I'm concerned in this case there is not much of uh, right or wrong but I think I showed you before so this is the ink that you can buy for each copy color that you run out of and this is the copy so the way I do refilling the ink is kind of the same I remove the the white nib some people don't so I remove that and then grab the re refill grab the ink and then just few a few dots inside not too much be careful not to do too much because when you put too much ink and then start drawing uh, you might see like you know drops of ink on your painting and that would ruin it unless you're going for that type of <laughs> uh, effect so this is how I would refill it to be honest I don't really use tweezers as well I just put it in and other people what they do is they instead of taking it out they would actually like you know drop a little bit of ink on the actual nib and wait till it absorbs into the actual into the inside but I usually do it my way just taking out the white nib um, so this is it pretty much so this is how you would refill it <laughs> thank you for watching and I hope this little video little tip helped you if you have any questions let me know in the comments below thank you until next time bye